We have an inflatable snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yard ornament. <laughs> Nay, I say yard art. Okay, if you guys want me to buy this thing, I'm gonna need one like for every dollar that it costs on this video. Currently, that is $98, so that means if this video hits 98 likes, I'm getting a new co-host. So pick me. Choose me. The snowman. That means I'm getting the snowman. I feel like I'm chosen. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we are going to go over Supreme's Week 14 drop list. That's right, they had us wait an extra long time to get that list. We only saw a couple of items early on. Obviously, we have this True Religion collaboration. We did see a bunch of those items early on. We have a Mocha Master coming out. That is going to be quite an expensive coffee machine. And of course, we have a giant inflatable snowman. Possibly the hippest snowman I've ever seen. And so much more. Before we get into it, if you like these videos, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, that you have notifications turned on, and make sure that you join us on the live streams every Monday and Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. I know it's late for you East Coast boys. We had a really big raffle Wednesday last week before Thanksgiving. One lucky viewer got a Zippo. Another lucky viewer got a Christmas tree topper. And another viewer got a Christmas stocking. That's right, a Supreme Christmas stocking. And then we had a special members-only raffle where everybody's favorite member, Coupe de Grace, outlasted the rest and took home. A supreme knife. Not every Raffle Wednesday is going to be big like that, but if you want a chance to win some type of streetwear paraphernalia, make sure you show up to those live streams. All right, folks, let's get into this drop list. There are a few items that I am going to breeze past on this next edition of Strictly Personal. It kind of feels personal. First off, we have this 24 karat gold beanie. I actually kind of like the Laker colorway in this beanie, but of course, it is strictly personal. Next up, this piping six panel hat, strictly personal. But what about this currency jacquard zip long sleeve polo? Strictly personal. What about the Raymond Pettibon work shirt? Strictly personal. <laughs> all right, all right. But what about the Geo beanie? That one also is. Strictly personal. Not great, Bob. Next up, we have the Supreme True Religion Gore-Tex pants. Um, these probably are also in the strictly personal range, mainly because of the price point at two ninety-eight. Yeah, that's a pretty hefty price point for pants. Uh, you know, it's going to be expensive when you have Gore-Tex in the name. Cocaine isn't cheap. I would say there is probably no resale value in these pants, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, but you never know. Uh, the True Religion stuff does tend to do okay, but you would have to hold it for a long time. And honestly, if you were going to gamble on something from this collaboration, I would not be targeting... Uh, these pants. Next up we have this layered denim trucker jacket. I'm not really sure what to say about this one. It is a neat piece and if you were looking to pick one of these up for reselling I would say just go with the biggest size in blue XXL XL whichever size is the biggest. This isn't an item that I would be putting money into though if I was looking to invest in Supreme this week. You expect me to believe all this? Next up we have the True Religion sweatpants. The retail on these looks to be about 198 estimated anyways. That's really steep for sweatpants. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to have to say again, these are most likely going to be personals. The True Religion blanks must cost more than the Supreme blanks because they're always a hefty amount more than what they normally would be. Next up are the layered jeans. These might be my sleeper item of the week. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and maybe lock it in there. This is such a bold move. These layered jeans are a decent little sleeper piece. If you are looking to make a little bit of profit on this drop, I'd say if you go with the really big sizes, uh, that's kind of where you make the most money on jeans again this would be risky these could just sit these could completely sit but these were in the lookbook people have been talking about them all season been waiting on them to launch and 228 isn't that bad of a price point for a pair of specialized jeans so if you are buying for resale i'd be very careful don't put all of your money into this basket. But in my personal opinion, I bet they don't make very many of these, and they should age very well over time. Next up, we have the Supreme True Religion Gore-Tex Shell Jacket. That's right, two shell jackets in two weeks. Who'da thought? Why? This actually is a pretty cool jacket. 478 though, is a pretty hefty price point, especially since we just saw a cheaper TNF version of this shell jacket. 
last week. Now that denim colorway though looks really cool, I will say that, and I could definitely see that colorway selling out. Really cool jacket, but I think that it is a super big risk if you are trying to flip this thing. Next up, the Polar Tech Camp Cap. Um, I can't really get behind this type of camp cap. Uh, we've seen these in the past. I don't really think that people like these that much. They're really only wearable when it's cold outside. I used to have one that I would wear here and there. If it was over like 70 degrees, it was way too hot to wear that thing. If you were planning to go after these, I think the black one and the camo one are decent pickups, in my opinion at least. Next up is this puffer neck pouch. It's basically seven by four, so you can like fit your phone, maybe your wallet, something else in there. Not very much, it's not very big. <laughs> Yeah, you can put that in there too. These are definitely cool little pieces. I'm not really sure how well these particularly will do, but again, $30 is not that much of a price point, so uh, pretty pretty small risk if you do buy these things. Next up, we have these Polar Tech pants. And at 138, man, if you were thinking of buying any type of sweatpants this week, these are the ones to go after. I mean, these will probably be the most comfortable ones, the warmest ones. If you're taking the trash out in these in the morning, you're not worried about getting cold, okay? You're just not. <laughs> Not the lower half of your body, at least. I like the same colors on these, the camo, the black. I kind of like that blue as well. But I don't really see any resale in these either, so strictly personal. Next up, we have the Supreme True Religion Zip-Up Hooded Sweatshirt. With a price point at $248, that is some heavy, heavy taxing. The ones that came out last time are doing really well, though. But again, these True Religion collaborations generally jack up the retail prices, so it kind of hurts if, if you're trying to buy these to resell. Son of a nutcracker! I think the black one is the best one of these by far if you were looking to take a gamble on them and obviously go XXL or bust on that. I do think these are a cool piece, but that price point, again, is going to make them a very hefty little gamble. Next up we have the small box logo long sleeve tee. You guys missing out on this Mirakami box logo collaboration. I had you there for a second, made you look for sure. Nope. Um, again, these are strictly personal. Next up we have this Geo reversible wind stop fleece jacket. This is actually a pretty decent piece, especially the price point at 238. That's not too bad for a reversible jacket from Supreme. Fleece on one side, wind stopper on the other. Not really feeling the pattern on the fleece though, to be fair with you. Maybe those really big sizes in the black fleece could do something, but otherwise I would probably have to say these are strictly personal as well. Next up we have the Supreme True Religion Gore-Tex Trooper. Now I know that you're gonna think that I'm gonna say these suck and move along. For some reason, these types of items sell out really quickly. They just probably don't make that many of them, especially it's got the Gore-Tex, it's got that faux fur all over it. You're ready to climb Mount Everest with this hat and if you were going to gamble on this $98 hat I think that that denim colorway again is something to maybe maybe take a gamble on is this a risk yes do you have to be kind of crazy to buy this yes Yes, you do. Could you make some money on it down the line? Maybe? I don't know. Next up, we have the Supreme Mohair Beanie. Now, these are going to be really nice quality. And at $44, that's not that big of a difference from what the normal beanies cost. I think all these colorways are decent. Obviously, the black is always the king if you're looking to resell. But again, for personal, these all look really cool. And these will be really comfortable beanies if you were interested. He's my special boy! Next up, we have this puffer backpack. It is coming in four different colorways. We got the black, we got the green, we got the blood, we got the crip. 128 price point, it's a 30 liter backpack, so it's a decent sized pack. I'm thinking it's probably just one big opening in there and it has a uh, string closure. Folks have been talking about these puffer backpacks for a while and that's not a bad price point, like I said. And like always, the black is probably the one that was gonna do the best, but I would also be looking at those paisley prints as well. I think people like the blue and the red for sure. Goes with a lot of other things that Supreme have put out in the past. Bags usually do okay, and, and honestly, I, I think you could waste your money on a lot worse things this week than, than this bag. It's fine. We're fine. Next up, we have this Polar Tech zip-up jacket. Now, this is a pretty decent jacket as well for the price point. $148, it's a decent little fleece. Polar Tech's a decent brand. I don't really see any resale in these. Again, probably going to be strictly personal, but... It'll be a decent personal if you do pick them up. Now this Polar Tech face mask beanie might be another interesting one to take a gamble on. It's really close to being another balalala, balasalaga, balaclavicle. Gosh darn it, I can't say balaclava. Oh, there it is. We just got the dog! 
It could be considered a poor man's balaclava for sure. I've never seen anything like this from Supreme. Maybe they've made them before. Maybe I just missed out. But I really think that that camo one has potential. The white with the red box logo has potential. And black, as always, could have some potential. $44 price point is pretty cheap as well, as, as far as Supreme goes anyways. So again, low risk, and maybe you get some reward out of it down the road. We win! Group hug in the shower tonight! Next up, we have this puffer pouch. Um, I'm kind of interested in this puffer pouch, I'm not gonna lie. I might want this as like another little travel bag or something. $48, again, isn't that awful for an item from Supreme. I'm not really sure if I can recommend this for a resell-y type of item, but definitely a cool piece to pick up if you need a little bag or a little pouch for something. And just another great multi-cart item if you happen to be close to free shipping in any way. Next up, we have the Polar Tech Face Mask Half Zip Pullover. Also decent price point at $148. You basically get a hoodie and a face mask all wrapped into one. That's a deal. It's a deal. I don't really see these being the best resellers out there, but again, these are going to be a really nice personal. These are going to be really comfortable. I dig the camo, the black one, that blue one. You can't beat a good Polar Tech fleece, you know? Next up, we have this Play Dead book. It is a $28 price point. This will have all kinds of images from the new Play Dead video that Supreme is promoting this week. Seems to me they've made a skate video, and now they have some pictures to prove it. They're selling a book for $28, not a bad price point. Uh, it should be a decent little coffee table book. It doesn't seem to be a hardcover book, but who knows. The last one that I got from them just barely looked like a magazine. Just throw it into your cart if you're grabbing something, and move along! <laughs> Here we go, probably the puffer bag of the collection, the puffer side bag. I think with a price point of $58, this bag has the potential to kind of fetch a $100, $120 price point down the road. And I think all these colorways are good, but again, black is always the safest one. I do like the paisley colorways as well, and, and you know what? I don't hate that green either. But if you were looking to resell these, go black, don't even think about it. It's the safest bet, don't even worry about it. Okay, I'll admit it, I'm nervous! Next Next up, we have the Supreme Morphe Smack Juice Pack Mini. What a name. Like in normal Supreme style, they're giving you an accessory for last year's phone. That's right, this is for an iPhone 13. So if you still have the iPhone 13 and you're still locked into that two-year plan, go ahead and grab one of these. You'll be fine. If you have any other iPhone or any other device, this isn't going to really work for you. Oh, hell no! So just keep that one in mind if you're looking to pick this thing up for personal because that is all it is, strictly a personal. Technology and Supreme really doesn't do very well together. Let's just move along. Next up we have this Play Dead t-shirt. Uh, obviously this goes along with the book that we saw. I honestly think this is a pretty good tee and, and it should sell out pretty quickly. You might have to be pretty fast to get this tee, actually, on Thursday. Uh, there is a gigantic box logo on the back of it. It has the entire skate team's roster on the back. That's impressive. There is only one colorway. This is the perfect type of t-shirt to target if you're looking for something that's going to go up in the future. I definitely want to grab one for myself. I think this is a good one. I think it's a go, and I think that you guys should be picking these up on Thursday as well. Who are you? Now here we go guys, the large inflatable snowman. I've been looking forward for this to release for some time now. And like I said earlier, if you can get me 98 likes on this video before the drop on Thursday, I'm gonna buy an inflatable snowman. $98 is not a bad price. We were anticipating this thing was going to be over $200. I kind of think this thing will sell out pretty fast. It's kind of funny that Supreme is a store that's generally dead in the middle of downtown of every city that it's in is going to be releasing yard art. I think most of the people that go into a Supreme store live in an apartment, maybe get an extra room, have him be your roommate if you want to use this during the holiday season. Also, this could be like the opposite of having an ADT sign in your house. Instead of saying, hey robbers, don't come in here, I'm protected, it kind of says, hey robbers, we got some hype shit in this house, time to rob this motherfucker. I'll be taking that. Ah! So I don't know, put it on your lawn at your own risk, but it is a really neat piece, uh, definitely a one-of-a-kind item, and I do think that it will sell out pretty quickly. I think that that price point is actually pretty reasonable, to be fair. I think that the resale value on this will be 100% related to the amount of stock that they actually make of this item. 
And now for you big baller businessmen, we've got a Supreme Mocha Master. That is right. This is a heavy hitter's coffee machine, boys. We're gonna have a fucking good time. Let's go to fucking Monaco now, huh? Right, Let's right. fucking move. Let's go. Retail price point at $3.98. Um, I think that they normally are right around 350 so Supreme didn't put that much of a tax on this coffee machine. Not 100% sure what makes this a $400 coffee machine as opposed to the $50 Mr. Coffee. I guess it just makes more precise, precision coffee, uh, so you can get that same good, good every time you drip. Do I think this is going to resell? I I'm not really sure. Again, another cool item to have, like, in a shop. I'm sure they didn't make a ton of these, so so potentially there's some sort of future in this, but I think that the initial investment on this thing makes it far too much of a risk to really worry about the resale value of it. Is it a cool piece? Yes, for sure. Is it a big flex? Of course. And I think that's about where this item stops for me. Jealous. All right, folks, there you go. It actually is a pretty big list this week. There are definitely a few cool pieces. And again, if you get 98 likes on this video, I'm going to buy that inflatable snowman. Otherwise, I definitely am interested in grabbing that t-shirt, probably the book as well. And I'm really interested in those side bags and potentially a pouch as well. That's a lot of nuts! Let me know down below what you guys are going to go for if you're going for anything. What do you think about that inflatable snowman? And do you need coffee that badly in the morning? You know, too much caffeine stunts your growth. Thanks again for watching, and if this video did not give you the Fauntleroy fix that you need in your life today, well, <laughs> then you should check out these videos right here. Five, make a yellow chick turn the neck. Got a five, make a cougar on a spin a chick.